I remember uh, when I first joined uh, the cruisers and Lappin was on that team. Uh, she said that I, I don't quote me on this, but <laughs> from what I remember, she like did not like me at first because I would kind of trash talk and yeah. I'd laugh at people like in the middle of rundowns. Cause I knew I was going to get out of them as a runner. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I mean, I did that all the way up through college. I love it. Um, because I thought it was like hilarious. Like, it's like, na, 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 na. You know? <laughs> and um, I was used to that, though. That's what I did with my brothers. Mm -hmm. Like, and when I joined the softball team, it's, it was probably at kind of a lower level than that. Um, because I mean, you know, she would, she would tab herself with a serious award. So me being kind of like playful and kind really? of Sandlot style <laughs> driver wild. was new. Yeah. That's so funny. And yeah. I can totally see that too. Like, um, and I feel like I, I'm more of like a lap in like just serious. Like we don't joke here right now. It's not the time to joke. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get out <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> yeah. but you need that balance on a team though totally and i mean go looking back i wish i was not so serious like why the heck was i so like tight and tense and like oh uh, gosh just i think maybe i could you know could have gone to a whole nother level if i just would like relax sometimes but i don't know i just felt like just so tight tense like just this is serious business. Like, just <laughs> like, we've got to get out and we've got to get hits. And, you know, it's just, like it's just ridiculous. Like looking back, like I just wish had a little bit more. I, but I had fun to, like playing mm -hmm. like that. But I wish I had that approach of like just that trash talk, like just being silly, goofy, and but yeah, I don't know, maybe. But did you even know that about yourself as you were? No, like playing like you don't know it you know no no looking back i'm like i was just so like tight and tense and just god <laughs> we must win yeah i know yeah. but i also feel like i feel like i'm pretty silly goofy so mm -hmm. i don't know yeah i yeah it's interesting just the the clashing of of those two yeah. um because i i think um when like confronted with that, people wouldn't, they wouldn't uh, think I was taking things seriously. And I was, but yeah. I just had a, a, a more lax attitude about it. And that just like, wasn't, wasn't me. Mm -hmm. And when I tried to be that, mm -hmm. it didn't work out for me. Totally. It took just... like the love and the joy, mm -hmm. the flow out of the game when I was like trying to be like, this is, yeah, right what I got to do. And I, right. Like it just, and that's what happened to me. Like in college, I didn't, um, I got more fixated on numbers mm -hmm. and trying to be somebody I wasn't. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as a result, I fell short of, of my expectations. Mm -hmm. And so like you get in that cycle, you know, right. Yeah, right. <clears throat> it's a tough thing. And, but all through that period, that's what everyone's doing, right? Everyone's trying to figure out who they are in this space or who they're trying to be. I mean, it's right. like you look to the people around you to, to try to help you, but right. you got to figure more that out. Like you figure these things out, right? Like for you as well, like you didn't know going through it during the time that you were fixated on numbers or is that something that you figured like at the end, like, okay, wow. Like I was really thinking about that. Like, yeah. You know? It was at the end when I was getting like snappy and kind of bitchy and that's not, you know, that's not a good space to be in when like people are trying to help you and you're like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I already knew that. <laughs> Just trying to help you Chaz. <laughs> 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 yeah um 
Yeah. I'm just getting in my own damn way. Right. I hear you <laughs> on that. I hear you. And uh, gosh, like sometimes, yeah, like if we could just have an elevated look at ourselves sometimes. And sometimes I feel like if I had an elevated look at myself, like I would just crack up and laugh, like really Tosh, like, come on. Mm -hmm. But to be able to open up and, you know, hear the people that are actually trying to help you, like, gosh, like how fast we could get to that next or close that gap and get to that next level, you know, mm -hmm. if we you know, just opened up or just, you know, yeah, Open but but I was like a person that just like held it all in. Like, no, this isn't affecting me. Like, right. I'm, I'm tough. I'm cool. I'm mm -hmm. tough. Yeah. I don't cry. Yeah. I don't, you know. Uh, but I was like, you know, I was really like a little bubble, just like boop, you just like <laughs> poke in a little bit, and the whole thing's gonna go. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. So fun. So fun. I, you know, even I wouldn't change anything though, even right. though like we're talking about like the past and kind of what we've been through and the people we were, I wouldn't have changed anything. You have to go through those things. Run hundred percent. Like you totally evolve, you change. Um, same. I wouldn't change anything either. Like I think just in my adult life, like my adult life, but <laughs> my adult <laughs> life, <laughs> I'm just so wise. And, you know. <laughs> But definitely, like, it is reflecting, like, this is a real Oprah here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I think you won the Oprah Award. That's going to be a new award. It's going to be a in new my award. Adult life. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Join God. Tosh on Super Soul Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> seriously yeah I wouldn't, change it. <laughs> I wouldn't change it I wouldn't change it for the world like I just I don't know I, I think of a large part of who I am today is like going through those experiences and I don't know like again thankful thankful yeah. to have had the opportunity to compete and I mean, play for Coach Enquist. I think that was a huge part of just shaping and molding the person who I am today. You know? Yeah. 